it's Mary from DIY Creating with Mary. Uh, happy Monday. I wanted to show you our project today. First, I wanted to show you my shirt, my Hello Pumpkin shirt. This, we made this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I wanted to show you, it looks very cute. Um, but I wanted to show you that. And I also wanted to show you another project we're gonna create. So, this is from the Magnolia Design um, September Craft Club. I have made many, many projects with this. Um, and I'm going to make yet another one because I wanted to kind of show you all of the versatility you have with the transfers. Okay, so I have probably used this transfer, I'm going to guess six, seven, eight times, and um, it, is, it is still in great shape. Um, the thing I always tell people is just to take care of your transfers. Um, take good care of them um, and wash them, clean them, and you'll be fine. You can use them for a long time and you can keep them nice and sticky so that they stick to the back, okay? Um, but I really do love these transfers um, and this, this fan company is absolutely fantastic to uh, to be, a, to be an affiliate of. I love working with them. They are great. Um, they resolve every issue. They're fantastic. So I would not work with a company that I did not myself like. So I just wanted to, sh to share that with you. But this transfer we are going to use and we are going to make a, um, these are uh, flower sack towels. Okay. So I wanted to show you these. I got these on Amazon. I wanted to, um, kind of show you how these can be used to make some great gifts. So I definitely recommend that you, um, these are great gifts. I, I, I would definitely use these for um, holidays. They're pretty affordable. I got a pack of six of these, um, tea towels. I guess tea towels or flower sack towels, however you call it. The thing with these is, and I'll put the link on here that I use because I don't like to give a link out if I don't like the product myself. So I always test out the product myself and if I like it and I use it, then I will share the link. If I don't like it, um, I will send it back or I will um, definitely never share the link. Okay, so, I, um, so today we are going to use these to make um, tea towels uh, or whatever, you know, kitchen towels, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I think they could work, they could definitely be used for tea towels or kitchen towels or whatever. Okay. So I will, um, I, I did like, I do like working with this brand. So I will put the link on there for you. And I will also put the link on there for this fun transfer, um, which we're also going to be putting on a shirt too this week. Okay. This is about 12 by 12 inches. Um, so, um, you know, from end to end, so probably 11 by 11 of actual transfer space. Um, so this is, like I said, this has been used probably five, six, seven times already. That is because of, um, how you take care of it. That's it. Oh, I think I had, sorry, I had a little disconnect there. It looked like Facebook popped out on me, but hopefully, hopefully that's okay. So, um, but now it says I'm live. So hopefully... <laughs> I don't know that my phone did something weird. So hopefully it's gonna be connected, um, hopefully. So anyways, it's, so this is a transfer and I'm gonna flip my camera and I'm gonna show you what I uh, did with this. And I always like to, uh, I always will test out a project before I do it because I wanna make sure that I'm showing you a project that's actually gonna work. Um, so I don't do anything, I don't try not to share anything unless I personally have tested it and done it and um, you know have been happy with the results so that's kind of how I roll this is going to we're going to do this in a future date but I want to give you this previews of coming attractions here these are um, ink and paste pens uh, chalk paste and chalk ink pens and you can write with these okay so I just want to give you a preview that we're going to try to use these this week and I'm going to show you how you can enhance some projects okay and how these work and I'll do a demonstration of how these work okay so you can use these and these together. You can use them, you can, you can do your transfer and then you can add embellishments with this, okay? Um, so that's previews of coming attractions. So I wanted to show you, this is the transfer you we're using. 
and we are using the tea towels, the, uh, which I just showed you, okay? So now I'm going to kind of, um, the, the, the ingredients for this project that you're gonna need are, you're gonna need your ink, black ink. Definitely wanna use ink for this. Why do you wanna use ink for this? Because you have to use ink um, for a fabric. That anything you want to be permanent, you wanna use an ink for, okay? And ink is a must for fabric, canvas, like a tote bag, a shirt, uh, my shirt, this is all ink. So you wanna use ink on this because you want to make sure it's gonna be permanent. So um, that see, so you need ink, you're gonna need your squeegee. You're, you're gonna need a squeegee. Um, you're gonna need um, your transfer, okay? And you're gonna need your material. Your in main ingredients are always the surface that you're gonna decorate on or to do a transfer on, ink or paste, a squeegee, and your transfer. So you're always gonna need those four materials. In what context or variety you need those materials, that varies by the project. So that, I think, is a kind of important thing. So always think about for every project, what's your, what, what are you gonna put it on? That's one, your surface. We're gonna use ink or paste. That's your second question. Are you going to, what transfer are you gonna use, right? That's your third question. And you're always gonna need a squeegee. Once in a while for tight spots, you might need a paintbrush. But in general, you are going to want to use um, a squeegee, okay? So I wanted to, I just like to go over that. I think sometimes if you're new to this, that's a little confusing. This particular transfer um, is exclusive to the craft club, which comes once a month to your house. Um, and so if you join up for this, you can do lots of different projects with this. And once I get through doing all the projects for the craft club, I'm actually going to show you, hang on, my little, my little uh, cricket here decided to turn off, but I need it to stay on. So, but once you, um, once we do all the projects for this, I'm gonna show you them all in one picture and I'm just gonna run through them and show you all of the things you can do with one single transfer and with, you know, a simple, there's a million different inks and a million different pastes. Do you need all the colors? Nope, you don't need all the colors. She, um, do you need some basic colors? Yep, you need some basic colors. So that's, that's why, and if you wanna get the other colors, that's great, but I tend to go with white, blacks, um, you know, kind of your main colors, reds. Um, but do I need chartreuse? I don't have to have chartreuse, but if I like chartreuse, yeah, I can get that. But I tend to, when I show projects, I try to show them in neutral, common shades so that people are people can go, oh, I could see that in my decor, right? So you can understand how you can apply this to your um, house as a gift, whatever the case may be. Okay, oh, and another thing we're gonna do this week is we're gonna use the Bodabra. So I got that and uh, I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I understand it completely and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, okay? Because making bows is a is a hurdle um, <laughs> that many of us face. And in, in, in bow making, you can use for all your crafts. You can also use bow making for your presents, for your gifts, right? Um, so lots of different uses for bows. You can use them for door hangers. So lots of different things. So keep that in mind as well. Okay. So we will be doing that uh, later in the week. Okay. But I did want to show you this. So what I'm going to do is I tested this because I always test my projects and I make sure they work. And I went with a simple design, okay? I went with a black ink, black ink, and you want ink. The ink is going to have the white cap. You want ink because it's permanent. So you want, um, on a cloth or fabric, you want to have a permanent ink, okay? So I'm going to show you. I have my project laid out here and I've been letting it dry. And I wanted to show you the final steps of what you need to do. So I'm just gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna kind of walk you through all of the steps that I did, which are not many, but which are important, okay? So I'm just gonna show you that, okay? So I'll flip the camera now. Hopefully my volume's loud enough. If anything's loud, not loud enough, let me know and I will adjust it accordingly, okay? So um, stay tuned. I'm gonna flip my camera and I'm going to, hang on, I'm gonna flip this. I'm still, it's amazing to me, but I'm still getting the hang of this new Fandangle gadget I have. So, there we go. Okay, see that right there? That is my project, okay? I'm gonna show you this. And what I did is I tend, I personally like to create 
kind of unusual looking things. I, I, I mean, I could have, in all honesty, I could have just slapped this transfer right on here. Just put it on, right? I could have done that and that would have looked great. I like, however, to do things, just to mix things up a little. So what I did is I, um, I put this, I laid this out here, okay? And I put half of the design on one towel, see? And I put half of the design of the design on the other towel. Why? Because I think it's interesting, right? Because I think it's fun to look at. So what I did is I took this transfer and I peeled it from the backer. So I took my transfer and I peeled it from the backer and I laid it down. Okay, I laid that down so that I centered it so that the one word was on the one side and then the other, the shine was on the one side and the like a was on the other side. So I put half on one towel, half on the other towel. That's what I did. Okay. And that's why you'll see the transfer has the little traces of black there. Do you see that? So, um, that's, <laughs> that's okay. That just means that that transfer was used and loved. And it's, as long as the mesh is cleaned off, it, this thing is good to go. Okay. So you can use it again. And the transfers are, um, they're like a sticky um, vinyl, okay? So as long as you don't, um, as long as it's sticky, you can keep using this transfer. And I've used this probably, I'm gonna say six or seven times, and, and it's still ready to rumble. So, it, so don't ever worry if there's color here, that's fine, that just means it's been used, which is kind of what you wanna do with your craft projects, okay? So hang on, I'm gonna try to shift this over um, some more. So I wanna show you this. So this is two separate tea towels or uh, flower sack towels. And, I, and I'll, I'll put the link in here, okay? These are flower sack towels. So what I did is I laid this transfer over and I'm gonna show you this. So I, 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 I laid it on there and I set before I, um, so there it is. Oh my gosh, my Facebook keeps popping on and off. So if it is fading in and out, I am really sorry for that. So I got, um, and you always want, when you put down a fabric, you wanna make sure you have, um, a board underneath it like you have a sticky mat or um, I used this this board I'll show you this I used this this little kind of uh, rubber board um, and you want to make sure you have a sticky mat underneath it to kind of keep it um, stable you want the fabric to be stable you want it to be so that it doesn't move around okay that's what definitely what you want okay so, and I have a, um, a cutting board on the other side of here, okay? Or you can use, um, sometimes they have like a sticky mat, something like that when you're putting the ink down, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, and then, um, so what we have now is then I've let you then, once you put the ink on, and, and I'm gonna show you another project where we're actually putting the ink on with this transfer. Uh, we're gonna put it on a shirt and I'm gonna kind of actually do the project with the shirt, okay? But I wanted to kind of show you this because, because I want to make sure that this worked as planned and it worked very well. So I have half my design on this side of the tea towel and the half on the other side of the tea towel. So it's two separate tea towels. So when I hang these, you're going to see half. You're going to see this half on this towel and this half on this towel. These are decorative. You could also, um, you know, they can be used for sure, okay? So you, but you just want to make sure that, that the, the fabric is pressed that it is um it is ironed so before i before i use this i took my heat press and i ironed this fabric on high okay so you want to make sure you're doing that as well all right and then once you put your transfer on this guy again you press your transfer down you you assume, you make sure that the transfer is pressed very firmly on the fabric and that the fabric is very secure and you there are sticky boards that you can get uh, I think you know like silhouette has um, the, the sticky mats any of those things will work anything that's gonna make you know a cutting board you could put a cutting board and you also don't want the ink to leak through so that's another reason like you wouldn't want the black ink to go to the other side so as long as you have a firm stable surface you're gonna always want to put that under your fabric when you're doing your inks okay so that's very important to remember um so firm surface because um the the those transfer you know to go on smoothly it needs to be a flat surface just like you would want for any ink okay so i took so that's what i did so i i and i had a um i have a board underneath here okay 
So now what I'm going to do, so once you get that transfer on, you get your ink on, you put your black ink and you, and you squeegee that over the design, and you peel it back, and if all goes as planned, you will get this, which is your, your design. And this is on your tea towels or your flower sack towels, whatever you want. So I put half the design on one towel, half on the other. Because I am going to display these on the rack on my stove. So I want them to, I, they're going to be next to each other. So I want them to show, I'm go, they're going to have this kind of cool look. Where, where I'm gonna put them together and you're gonna see both of these pieces, okay? Everybody could do this different. You could put this whole transfer on this side. You could put this whole transfer on this side. I like to mix things up and keep it interesting. So I did it this way. Um, but again, you, any design you want, you can do it. You can put this all, you could most definitely fit this entire transfer on one side and you would be fine. This transfer is a rock star. It's one of my favorite transfers I've ever seen. <laughs> I just like it. You could put it on shirts, jackets, towels, tote bags, um, picture frames. There's like a bazillion million options for this, which is why I like it. So once you put your ink on and you let it dry, what you are going to do is the following. You are going to, again, you're going to spread it out. And then you're just going to do, you know, I have this on high. I have a Cricut mini press, okay? See that guy? So now um, I can not, probably notch this down to maybe the medium level. And I'm just gonna kind of show you, this is how you make the ink permanent. I'm just gonna show you this process, okay? I'm taking parchment paper and I'm lightly going over this, okay? And I'm just kind of making sure that I am, this is what this is doing is this is getting the inks in the fiber. And you wanna go probably two to three minutes per surface. Um, I would not dwell on the, um, you know, I wouldn't sit in the same spot. I would keep moving, you know, keep kind of going on. Um, and, 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 and you're pressing this ink. And the reason you're doing that, okay, sorry, this thing is beeping at me. The reason you're doing this is you're trying to get the inks to stay in the fibers of the tea towel. So you do this for two or three minutes, okay? And you're ironing this in, and this is going to seal the design on the surface, that which is very important. So that uh, if you want to use these in your in your in your kitchen, you want to use them, or you want to make hand towels or bath towels, or you know put them in your for your uh, like for guests or whatever, then you can use these. So um, see that? See how that? I'm just gonna iron this um, ink on. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to secure that in the surface. So this is not going to come out, okay? So this is going to um, be, be washable, which a lot of times if you do a vinyl or something like that, not washable, right? Um, not washable. And this, by all means, always use parchment paper. Parchment paper is key, okay? So make sure that you use that. <laughs> you always, because you want a buffer. You want a protective layer between the hot easy press or your iron. If you're using an iron, you wanna do this on high. High, and you wanna turn the steam, like the cotton setting, and you wanna turn the steamer off. So that's very important. You don't want steam coming out. You want it to be a nice dry heat, and you're just going to go, and you're going to press this in, okay? But the first thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure your ink is dry. Ink dries pretty quick but you might want to give it a while to dry, you know, maybe give it, you know, a couple hours to dry, which I, I have done. So, um, but what you can see now is I am just going in here and I'm going to be honest with you. I actually, I, for the t-shirt I made, I actually forgot to do this setting process. And I was like, Oh no, that's not going to look too hot when it comes out of the wash machine or when it comes out of the dryer. And I was amazed that because it had dried for several days, it, it, it's, the ink was fine, which was amazing. So see what I'm doing there? I am now pressing the ink and it's going to be permanently in the fibers now. So, the, so if you wash this, it's not gonna come, it's not going to, um, the ink is not gonna come out. It's going to be there, okay? Which is what we want, right? So you can use these towels over and over. You can give these as gifts, which I absolutely love. I am a big fan of making gifts but I want to make gifts that people want and that people want to use. And I 
would like to get tea towels or I would like to get hand towels. I think that's a very nice gift. Okay. Um, and this would be cute for like a bathroom if you have girls or if you want to put it in a main bathroom. Um, it would also be cute, but see what I'm doing? I'm just pressing this in as best I can with parchment paper. Under no circumstances do you want to use um, wax paper. Wax paper will be a mess. So don't ever, because some people interchange wax paper and parchment paper, which is not a good idea. Wax paper will melt and it will melt on your surface and it will be um, not a good situation. Parchment paper is kind of a buffer. It kind of protects um, the heat of the iron. It, it still puts it on the surface without destroying the surface, which is what you want, okay? So I'm just pressing this for two to three minutes on high. And I'm basically kind of heating those ink, um, putting the ink in the transfer or put it on the surface, okay? So now I'm making sure that the, that the heat is making the ink permanent in the fibers. It's kind of like, you know, when you get a t-shirt and it's, it's an ink shirt, right? And, and you can wash it, it's the same concept. But instead of a manufacturer putting the ink on the shirt, you are putting the ink on the shirt. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep doing this for a couple minutes and going through. And I could, I actually could use a big, bigger piece of parchment paper, and that's probably a good idea, but I kind of wanted to show you how I'm doing this, okay? So I just want to make sure you could see what I was doing here, okay? So, and there's no magic, you know, if you do this for two to three minutes and you do it on high, you will be in good shape, okay? And your ink will be in there. And I definitely recommend, let it sit for like 24 hours. Just let it sit, let it dry, it's fully dry. Um, you know, then you do your ink um, and, and you know, you put you, you um, then you do this process where you, you heat it up, okay? And you iron and then you're good to go. So like I will, um, may I, I'll just let this sit here, I think tomorrow, uh, today. And then I'm gonna probably call it complete in about 24 hours, okay? And some people like to go this route. Some people like to ink it, let it dry for a day, and then do this process. Or some people will let it dry for a couple of hours and do this process. I have found both ways seem to work effectively. So um, the ink is, um, I'm, I, I may go so far as to say it's pretty foolproof. Um, you, you can, as long as you apply it, uh, correctly onto a level surface. Um, the thing you want to make sure is it's permanent. So you want your surface to be level. You want your um, you want your transfer to be very securely on there, and you want um, so you so you just want a flat surface. You want you don't want the the, the like the tea towel. You wouldn't want it to shift around, right? Um, so you get so you definitely want to make sure when you're doing inks or chalks that you always have a stable surface. So this, the, the table stable, the, um, I, and then I put something under the tea towel so that the ink doesn't sink, sink through, especially with the black ink. And you're, and you're just gonna like, you know, I, I sometimes use like an old cutting board or a, a sticky mat, something along those lines. You want a, a, a stable surface at all costs. And you're just gonna kind of go and you're gonna press this on here and you're and and once your ink is dry and you get your transfer on, then this is kind of sealing the ink into place, okay? And then I honestly would just kind of let this sit for 24 hours and then it will be good to go. Some people do it as follows. Some people will um, get their surface out. They will put their transfer on, right? They will um, get it all level. They will do their inking, right? Um, and then they will let it sit there and dry for a day. You can do that. That's fine. If you want to make sure that the ink is dry and then they will do this process where they, where they do the, the iron. And so this is a high heat. Um, if you have an iron, you can use the cotton setting. If you have an easy press, I usually do the middle or the high, um, as far as the, the see the, see this here, I usually do the second or third, um, which is the hot, hot one. Okay. Um, but no steam, you don't want steam. Um, so, so, and then you will get this result, okay? And this is a tea towel. 
and then I will, what I will do, I think I'm just going to let this sit here and you'll see that ink is in there. Like that ink is not going anywhere. That is now permanent. Okay. So you are essentially done. So I will just kind of let this cool off. Um, and then I wanted to also show you the one thing I have worked with a lot of different transfers from a lot of different companies. Um, and I will personally tell you that um, I like these transfers probably the best. And the reason I like these transfers is for the following. They are, they're very thin, which I like. They're very nice and sticky. Um, and they are very detailed. See, see the, the level, I like this level of detail. Some of the other transfers do not have that detail. There is also a level of a little bit where you can kind of, because they're so thin, you can kind of um, you can kind of understand where your object is under them. So it's not so thick that you can't feel where your object is, which I like that. I, it helps you with centering, okay? Um, and the designs are very pretty unique. So your 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 sunflowers, that mesh right there, that's where your inks and your paste are going to go through, okay? So everywhere around here is kind of like uh, it's a screen print, right? So um, this is a vinyl, and it's kind of like a, a, a cloth. It's almost got, I'll, I'll put that up there, it's almost got a cloth feel, but it's actually a vinyl, and it is on a backer, and the backer is what kind of keeps it, you know, kind of keeps it in place. And I keep the little cellophane sleeves for these when I'm done, okay? But do you see this mesh? See, that's see-through. That mesh, see, see how that's see-through? That's where the paste and the inks go. So when you put the paste and the inks on, they, that, the, what you, this design is from this mesh area. All the areas with green, the ink will not go through. So only the areas with the, 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 the mesh screen, okay? And so those areas you always want to keep clean. I will then, when I'm done with the inks and the paste, I will go right in and I will, I will peel them off my surface and I will wash them off right away okay that's always a good thing to do you want to be able to wash these off okay so I generally will just rinse it off with cold water and then if it's an ink I will take um, there's this awesome spray from Dollar Tree that I use or just cold water and I will use um, a, like a, a board eraser but also it's almost a very same consistency as a magic eraser Never on the back. You never want to use the magic eraser on the back, um, on the sticky part. But to get the paint off the top here, I will just kind of run it over with a magic eraser. And it works very, very effectively. Okay. And then I will just let the transfer dry. And I will put it back on the on the backing. The smooth, the smooth part. This, this is kind of a smooth surface. And you just stick the transfer back on. And it is ready to be used again. Very simple and easy to do. And I got to tell you guys, if you are not into um, <laughs> computers and cutting machines and you just want something simple, this is simple. Okay. You want, it's just simple. It's very simple. You don't have to have any technical skills. It's a pretty simple process. Okay. Um, so that is why I like all this. And I, trust me, I have lasers. I have vinyl cutting machines. I have every craft tool known to mankind. And there is a part of me that gets great joy from having something that's just really simple, okay? So, um, and, and it requires three things. or three, You need your anchor paste, you need your surface, what you're going to put it on, you need your transfer, and you, you just need a, a, an applicator tool. And, and the vast majority are reusable. The transfer is reusable. Chalk paste can be cleaned. Chalk paste, reusable. Um, surface, many surfaces um, are, um, like if you have a chalkboard surface, reusable, you can clean it off. The only, the only things are not reusable, the, the inks are permanent. So if you want permanent, which I do want permanent, then you go with the inks, okay? Um, but if you're doing a, um, a chalkboard picture frame that you want to change out for the seasons, that is, you spray that off and you can reuse that, okay? Um, so I will go and show you that. That's another thing I love about this is the reusability. So you don't have to keep going and buying new decor. You just basically kind of, if you're using, like making pictures in that, you can definitely reuse many of the tools. So that makes it a very affordable thing to do. 
So, and I have, again, every craft known to mankind. So lasers, cutting machines, uh, you name it. And I know all the softwares, I'm kind of self-taught, but I sometimes like to do something that is techie free. Okay, so, it, so you'll see here, great detail. See the great detail there? That's really good detail. And the designs, this design, you can't find this anywhere. It's only in the craft club. So, you, so they have a craft club every month, you get it for one month, and then that design is kind of retired forever. So it is kind of cool that you're getting these kind of unique transfers that, you know what, not everyone's gonna have this. So when you make these gifts, they are not gonna be everywhere, right? So that I also love that too, because I love to make things for people. I do make a lot of things for people, so it's a wonderful thing. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. Um, but again, the transfers are fantastic. So I'm gonna show you once this completes, um, I'm just gonna let this sit here and cool off. And once it does, I'm gonna take a picture of this and show you how it looks like the final product, okay? Um, so I'm going to wrap up here, but I did wanna show you this. Hang on, maybe I can move this up. So it's on two separate and I, I did a little, I did it split because I'm gonna display these on my stove and I'm gonna display them next to one another. And I think it's just kind of eye catching. These are gonna be decorative, but you can also use them too. So if you wanna use them and you wanna put the whole transfer on one side, you can do that. So I'm just showing you, I like to mix it up a little bit. I like to kind of throw things off a little, little element of surprise. Uh, I'm pretty big into that. So um, I will, um, again, we will be doing some other fun projects this week. I'm gonna be showing you some of my other fall transfers this week. So keep that in mind as well. Um, and we'll be doing bow dabra. Um, I'll be showing you how to make bows uh, because everybody needs a bow. By the way, you can also, um, and we may embellish these, you can also embellish these. You, you can take a hot glue gun and you can put ribbon here on each side of these. This is this part is gonna be, you're just gonna see this part. The, this outer part's gonna be folded back. We, we can go back with a hot glue gun and we can embellish these with ribbon or whatever you want, okay? So um, I'll show you that too, all right? So um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. I'm going to be back tomorrow with some more crafts. So um, I will um, flip the camera back here and just kind of wrap up, okay? So I, I apologize if the, here I am, I'm back. So I apologize if the uh, Facebook was popping in and out, okay? Um, I don't know why it does that, but sometimes it does do that. So, yeah, so that's our, cra our, our transfer we use. Shine like a sunflower. Um, very beautiful transfer. Got to tell you, I love it. Uh, I, and I love, I love this company's product. Very, very reasonable to work with. If there's an issue, it's always fixed. No questions asked. I've had, I've had you know, I've messed up on things, and they have been phenomenal with helping me step through the process fix it or send me a new one, which I, or I, if you're missing something in your order, it's always no questions asked, which I love it. The customer service is a knockout. And so that makes me happy too. So I, I don't, I don't ever show a product that I don't like myself or that I wouldn't use. So, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, great transfer. And I'm going to show you, um, once this kind of sets, uh, I'm going to show you the final product and post a picture on here. Okay. Uh, and I will post the link to get this if anybody's interested. Um, it's Craft Club once a month. You get this. You get a, a, a unique transfer. You get instructions. You get two pastes um, and uh, two packets of paste, which you can use a lot. You can use way more than for the one project, and you get a surface. So, and I and I and I will show you all the things you can make with this one transfer. I think I'm on two or three right now, and I definitely have a couple more ideas for this one, okay? Um, and you can keep the transfer forever and use it, keep reusing it, and it's unique to this craft club. So that's also awesome too. And the craft club is very affordable. I think it's $22.99 out the door shipped, which is amazing. That includes your postage, that includes um, your, uh, all your surface, you know, your surface, your um, paste, your squeegee, and your transfer, which I kind of think these are collectibles. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's, 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 it's an amazing deal. It's fun. Uh, if you want to just do a hobby or just do something relaxing, a little treat for yourself, that's what got me in. 
I was very mesmerized with just getting a little thing in the mail every month that I could make that was pretty simple to do and I was um, I was sucked in by the simplicity of it all and um, I wanted to show you this ink is what was used for my sunflowers okay um, but for but for the kit every month the kit will give you one project what you need to realize though is you can reuse often you can you can always reuse a transfer if it's paste there's or ink there's always more paste or ink in there you can sometimes reuse the surface and you can always use a squeegee so it's a it's a festival of reusability which I love so um, that's definitely a good thing so um, I will be back tomorrow I will post the uh, link to the craft club if you are interested click on my link if I could uh, also ask if you could sh Tell your friends, sprinkle uh, the videos to your friends. I would be eternally grateful. I uh, love what I do. I love sharing these products with people. Um, I love these particular products. They have a lot. And um, I just love it all. And I want to, um, I love to demonstrate this. I'm kind of a teaching background. And I like to blend two things I love, which is teaching and crafting. Um, so that's kind of why I love to do this stuff. Okay. Um, so if you have any questions, just post them in the, um, in the comments and I will put links in there for everything that I use. I will, I will put my Amazon links for my tea towels. Um, and I will also uh, put this uh, link here for the, for the kit club. And guys, if I put the link, that means I have personally used the product and I like the product. If I don't like the product, I don't, I'm don't. not going to post the link. This means that I felt like this was a good product and I liked it. So uh, that's, if, you know, if you want a little bit of a tried and true, okay, someone's actually tested this and it works, you can, you can definitely trust the fact that I have tried this. You know, the mini press, the Cricut mini press? Yeah, I've used that thing to make 2,000 different things. I love it. It works. It's a solid piece of product. It's very affordable. So I only post things that I love. Um, Dollar Tree is another example. You know what? I go to Dollar Tree and I pick things. And I'm not going to show you them if I don't like them. So I only show you what I like. Um, so just to keep that in mind. Um, and that's my easy press telling me that it's turning itself off because it's too hot. So see, good product. But anyways, um, all of this will be um, posted for you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Spread the joy of crafting with all your friends. And um, let them know about the videos, okay? Uh, sprinkle the love, as they say, okay? Thanks, um, and have a great Monday. I will talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.